Hey, what's up budget builders? My name is Trill and we are entering into a danger zone. Not the toilet zone guys, but the danger zone. The housing market is about to have an earthquake because the Supreme Court just blocked the temporary extension of the eviction moratorium or also known as the eviction ban. Back in July, Congress failed to extend the eviction moratorium ban that has been in place since the beginning of the pandemic. And then they decided to leave for their August recess break, knowing that the eviction ban was about to expire at the end of July. And as a result, President Biden and the CDC decided to extend the eviction moratorium ban for about 60 days. Well, that was early August and earlier this week, the Supreme Court announced that Biden and the CDC is not or does not have the authority to extend the eviction ban, therefore blocking their attempt. Now, the Supreme Court said that Congress is the only one who could further an extension, but failed to act in the several weeks leading up to the moratorium expiration date. So what does this mean guys? Well, a lot of people are about to lose their homes, but these are not just their homeowners. We're talking about renters, tenants, and homeowners as well as families. So many Americans are on the verge of being evicted over the next few weeks as landlords as well as mortgage lending companies are preparing legal documentation with the courts to have the individuals removed from their homes, obviously if they don't leave voluntarily. But that's how it goes as many Americans have not paid a single dime in rent payments in the last 18 months since the pandemic started. Landlords and mortgage companies have been losing a ton of money and landlords are having to cover those mortgage payments or either their landlords are on the verge of losing their homes. It's a tough situation for everyone involved. But why didn't the government provide stimulus relief aid to those struggling to pay their rent payments. Why is the government not doing more for the American people? Well, they did, and we need to discuss it today. But before we get started, hey, if this is your first time to the channel, hey, welcome and glad to have you. On this channel, we talk about finance, real estate, credit cards, Bitcoin and crypto, and stimulus update news. So if you're interested in any of those, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me. That way you can join our community. Also, if you end up liking the content in this video or even laughing at one of my jokes, then be sure to like this video. Other than that, guys, hey, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay guys, here we are at the end of August and the eviction moratorium or the eviction ban has expired. It actually expired at the end of July and now that the Supreme Court blocked the attempt to extend it, Americans are facing eviction. To answer your question as to why the government didn't do anything or provide additional stimulus relief money to struggling families, well, they actually did as part of the third stimulus package called the American Rescue Plan. They actually allocated about $46 billion for rental assistance. That money was provided to each state to help their local residents. But according to this article right here on the screen, only $1.7 billion of the funds have been distributed. So why is that? This money was intended to prevent eviction of thousands of families and individuals before the eviction ban was set to expire and before the Supreme Court was due to make their decision and states have yet to release that money. Now I could take a wild assumption that states wanted to see the final result before they actually released the money to the people who need it the most. But again, that was not the whole purpose intended of this stimulus relief aid. But the Emergency Rental Assistance Program, which was funded by the last two federal stimulus packages, was hoping that much more than $1.7 billion would be distributed by now. Now. The Treasury Department, which oversees the program, said that they are disappointed. However, the money is required to be spent over the next three years. So would that mean that states are going to hold on to the money to the last minute? <laughs> this is crazy, guys. But right now, as the eviction ban was blocked by the Supreme Court, states should be in the process of working towards issuing this money out to those who need rental assistance. According to some data that we received last week, the Census Bureau illustrated the magnitude of the eviction risk. The data shows that about 1.2 million households are very likely to face evictions for non-payment of rent over the next two months. This is using a poll of about 70,000 respondents who answered the survey. And of the 2.8 million households that actually apply for rental assistance aid, 
only about 500,000 households reported actually receiving assistance. And of course, 1.5 million are still waiting for either approvals to happen or either have already been rejected for their rental assistance program. So again, guys, what is the holdup on dispersing this rental assistance aid that was specifically allocated to households who are unable to pay their rents or their mortgages? As a result, the White House and the Treasury Department are upgrading its initiatives to speed things up a little bit by making it easier for tenants to upload their financial information with their applications by allowing states to send direct bulk payments to landlords, as well as sending the money to utility companies, as well as working with the department Department of Housing and Urban Development to prevent evictions as properties funded by them. So there are a few steps being done to help those who are in need right now, but that is still not enough and not fast enough. Even though some of the states have been helping and providing the assistance, there are about three states that are among the worst offenders in getting the critical aid out to renters, and those are New York, Florida and South Carolina. Reason being could be because each state is required to build out its own rental assistance programs to help its citizens and to deliver the stimulus aid to struggling families and renters and the landlords. And that has been the main source of its problems in distributing the $46 billion in a more urgent manner. Well, what does this all mean, guys? What is going to happen moving forward? Well, we are probably going to be seeing a lot of households being evicted with no place to go. More families and individuals may need to move in with their family members. More people borrowing money from other people. Credit scores decreasing over late payments and canceled utility contracts. Basically, a plethora of things are about to happen, which in turn will leave more available inventory of houses on the market again, which means the supply will catch up with the demand of house buying, which could in turn cause house prices to finally come back down again to more reasonable prices, which is going to make all of those recent home buyers who purchased homes for about thirty to one hundred thousand dollars above the asking price are going to be super pissed off because now your home value will probably drop to thirty to fifty thousand dollars in value. I tried to warn a few people not to buy homes in this crazy housing market, and that should correct itself in the next 6 to 12 months. But with the eviction ban expiring just recently, that may actually happen very much quicker. So guys, again, if you are struggling right now with paying your rent or your mortgages, please be sure that you check out all avenues of options that are available in your state. Remember that each state is different, so obviously I can't just go out and list out each program in this video, but all of you have to do a simple Google search. So far, I live in Texas. So I would just Google Texas rental assistance or Texas rental assistance programs. And you might want to take a step further and narrow it down a bit. So like Dallas rental assistance, this should direct you to a few ways to multiple programs that you can apply for rental assistance. Remember, there is more than $40 billion remaining in rental assistance stimulus funds that are specifically allocated to helping struggling families pay their rents, their mortgages, and their utility bills. And sometimes that money can be sent directly to the landlords or the utility companies. But you must take action today, guys. Time is of essence because you have to get in line with everyone else and wait your turn for them to either approve your assistance or either for them to decline your assistance, which is why you must apply for all programs in your area, not just one program, guys. That won't work. If you want to help you and your family out the most, take the time to do the research and find ways to prevent you and your loved ones from being evicted with no place to go. Again, I hope this information was helpful to you and gives you some form of direction on what you could be doing right now to receive some rental assistance. And if you know someone else that could find value in this video, please share this video with them as well, guys. Also, share this video on your social media pages such as Facebook, your Instagram page, as well as your MySpace page. And hopefully, this information can help them out as well. But other than that, guys, hey, this has been another fourth stimulus check update for today. Now, if you enjoy any of this information or found it to be useful, be sure to hit the like button for me. It definitely helps out a lot, and it also tells YouTube to share this video with others. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button for me so that you can be a part of this community and hit the notification bell to be notified of each new video. Again, as always, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.